Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to upload your art onto Fine Art America. So here we are on the homepage. If you have already logged in, you'll see your name here. If you haven't logged in yet, please log in there. Once you have, then you can click on your profile page. And once you're on your profile page, then you can see in the top here, you can upload an image or multiple images. We're just going to be doing one right now. So I'm going to click on that. Here it gives you the option to upload your file. So I'm going to choose my file here. I'm going to be doing this painting here of the lighthouse in Peggy's Cove that I've done. Once you have it chosen there, then hit upload image. It will just take a second depending on the size of um, the file and it will get it going there for you. Once it's done, then here's where you can input the information that you need. So the title of this one is just simply Peggy's Cove Lighthouse, and this is acrylic and pyrography on wood. Some keywords, I'm not going to fill them all out here, but you can see your character limit is 500. Try to put as many keywords as you can. So I'm going to do lighthouse. Um, Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia, Maritimes, Canada, Atlantic Ocean, just ocean, Red Lighthouse, it's on wood, you can include things like what it's actually done on as well. Acrylic painting. Um, so as you're going through and I guess it is like, kind of like a landscape too so I'll do that. There's that example down there. Try to get as many um, keywords as you, has, as you can because that's going to help people find your artwork. Then for a description, let's, I did copy, oh no that just gives me a YouTube link. Uh, I'm going to add in a short description here. else it was. Um, I'm just going to do that for now in this video, but when you're writing a description for your artwork, I encourage you to include what's inspired it, what it is, how it's done, um, what, in, like, what initially inspired you to do that, um, maybe if you're shipping it, if you're selling an original piece as well, you can say if you're going to be shipping it with, um, if it's ready to hang or not. Um, try to write it a long, longer description um, because that will help people connect with it. And here, this is a mixed media. If you want it to be displayed with a watermark, you can select that there. Do you want your visitors to be able to preview it in full resolution? I usually leave that unchecked and it is safe for work. If you have different galleries, so I have some um, some of my works on Fine, Fine Art America are just photographs, and so I have a photographs album, and I have an original paintings album as well. And I'm a part of some groups, and so I could put that in a group, so I'm going to just put that in Canadian Artists because it's not really, an, it has no wildlife in this one, so it won't go with any of that. Here's what you can put in. The info about it so it's 11 inches by 7 inches and it's about 0.75 inches in depth and my price there is 150 yes it's for sale or it can be sold so you can display sold work on fine art america as well because you can sell print on demand um, products of the original and so here's where um, you can choose which print-on-demand products you would like to sell and your markup for each of them. So I have default prices and if you want to set your own default prices you can just click on this button here or for certain things you can just go in and change them individually if you would like. And I would allow cropping to standard print sizes. I would recommend you doing that so that they can print it or yeah they can crop the image to the size that needed for the print uh, being given there. So there you can go through um, customized products as well. Um, maybe 
um, something is a little bit off-centered like something like this the phone case so I'm gonna customize this and I'm gonna bring that down oh, that's not let's try this what if we go this way yeah there we go because I'm gonna want that lighthouse right on the phone case there what if we go like this so you can you can see here you can kind of line it up how you want it what if we made the top of that the lighthouse huh. yeah you can kind of mess around with that see what you what works for you I'm just gonna leave it as that for now and you can close the customization view if you'd like something like a beach towel let's change this orientation a little bit there we go so now the towel the towel itself is just the full lighthouse so you can same with the yoga mat I'm gonna do that with the yoga mat too actually and there we go so now it's just the lighthouse on the mat go through and customize anything you'd like to line it up how you would and then if you don't have any markups for anything I don't have a default set for these ones um, so I'm just gonna add um, add some in here a little ornament I'm gonna to want to slide that over as well there we go you can also do image licensing um, I'm just gonna leave that for now I, I don't do much with that but I will um, allow it in a digital picture frame streaming and um, sync it to Twitter as well so once I post this onto Fine Art America it automatically goes onto Twitter so that's that's pretty much how you will upload an artwork onto Fine Art America pretty straightforward uh, once we hit submit here at the very bottom just takes a second and there it is um, you can see the watermark on the image there the different options of products people can buy more work from uh, me here's the little description that I wrote I'm gonna later on I'll go back and change that so it's a bit longer and then um, here's where you can uh, see comments if you want to add um, anything else to it you can always just um, go back to your profile page here you'll see it there and you can hit the little pencil mark and hit edit and it'll take you right back to this page here so yeah that's how you upload an artwork onto Fine Art America. Again, if you have any questions, please let, let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out my full review of Fine Art America, I will link that as well below so you can check out that full review um, of that. Thanks for joining me. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss another video here. And we'll see you next time on Brian Sloan Artist.